Hello everybody, thanks for joining me in my Ark Survival Evolved base tour series. This will be the first in a series of videos that I will be making to show off the communal base that my tribe has built. The idea behind it was we have a communal workshop area for crafting and building and then everyone built a house or hut or whatever you wanted to make of your own down on the beach. And joining me today is my tribe mate Machete who helped in the building and construction of much of this base. So without further ado, let's get to the tour. So as you can see, we are currently standing on our front landing area for landing wyverns and quetzes and other flying creatures. As you can see, as Machete runs around, it is very spacious, uh, easy landing for dropping off anything that we may be choosing to carry in to refill supply bunkers or anything of that nature. This is our snail pen. Machete doing his imitation of a snail. We have yet to have a rogue snail. Uh, we may be expanding this to be a little bit bigger to hold more snails because as everybody knows in Ark, one of the most hard to find and keep on hand resource is cementing paste. So once you go in the front door or the back door, depending upon which tribe mate you ask, you will see we have an S plus industrial forge, an S plus tech replicator, an S plus chemistry bench, an S plus fabricator, an S plus crafting station, and an S plus workbench. As you can tell, the S plus or structures plus mod is one of the ones that we definitely love and use on every one of our server incarnations. We have also recently started using this mod. Look at these bins. These are beautiful. The models are great. This is from the big storage bin mod. And as you can see, the mod creator has come up with storage bins that actually kind of fit and suit what's being stored in them. And they look great. They store enormous amounts of resources and different types of resources as well. Just for instance, the Carrot and Chitin storage bin sit, stores both kinds. The Charcoal and Gunpowder holds both. Pearls hold regular silica pearls and black pearls. He has put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into this mod and we really, really like to endorse it. Starting over here, you will see our kitchen, which is currently in the midst of being remodeled. We have refrigerators for kibble and eggs and people food, and one specifically just for mutton. Our industrial cooker, some basic kibble recipes, an industrial grill, our preserving bins, which we want to have more of because, let's face it, jerky is useful for everything, not just kibble. Our vessel for preserving salts for our frequent trips back and forth to scorched earth. As you can see, all of our storage bins that we use for items that there aren't uh, currently big bins for we have color coded our generator our air conditioners which this is currently our breeding area but now that we've had to remodel the inside of our communal workshop because of this behemoth our breeding area has become a little smaller than what we're used to so it will be moving up into this area which as you can see right now is um home to a uh, basically our 
Polymer Gatherer, which uh, she is very good at. One of our sleeping tribe mates. This area is nice and open. It'll be great for breeding. As it stands right now, you can easily walk in and out of here with Rexes even once they reach full size. You can see the rest of our fabricated storage bins from everything from tools to different types of armor and trophies, all color coded so that the tribe members know what's in them and they have easy access. The same goes for our bookshelves with our blueprints. They're all color coded. Well, they were until they got moved, but they're normally color coded so that you can know which blueprint types are in which chests. Our industrial grinder, which is great for uh, reclamation of resources for all the junk that we find that nobody can use, but it's useful for something once it's ground up. Our communal outdoor dormitory, which eventually will have some walls and a ceiling to it. We just have to get to that. That's one of one of our many to-do list items for our base remodel because of the tech replicator. As you notice, everything is in a central location here. This makes it easy for all of our workbenches to pull from all of our storage benches thanks to the S plus mod pulling resources is a great thing and should have been incorporated into the game from the beginning. You'll notice we have a beer barrel. Why do you have a beer barrel you might ask? Well, inside our lovely greenhouse we have a gardener. The gardener acts like sort of a refrigerator and as you might expect a gardener. He collects all of the different fruits and vegetables that come out of our crop plots which as you can see are flourishing and are doing very very well thanks to our tribe mate Lexian who designed and built this great beautiful greenhouse that we currently have out on the top we have flyer storage for community or public transportation should it be needed some large landing areas for bigger flyers public use and public transit pterodons some more large landing area public transportation Argentaviuses another large landing area some more public and private use pterodons and then here in the middle we had to make a special accommodation for our communal workshop. Originally this was all flat, but because of the behemoth of the tech replicator and the ginormous industrial forge, we had to expand upwards. So we decided to make this an easy access top floor landing pad. And you might say, well, why do you need that? Well, you can drop off a creature that you're carrying that is full of resources or if you have a flyer for instance a wyvern or an Argentavius or a Quetzal that is full of resources or has storage boxes on them that are full of resources you can easily land up here and any one of our storage bins or our fabrication facilities can pull from here without any trouble makes it very convenient and very easy. Once we get back down into the base you will see that we have a large open back area or front area depending upon which tribe member you ask. We have storage of some extra dinos for utility purposes. They are backups in case we lose other ones and uh, you know it's always good to have some extras a few of the the new climber cats they're crazy by the way our uh, Freddy five fingers they're great for gathering resources we use those for many different things besides killing other stuff 
are wyverns, which are basically belong to other tribe members, so they are private use, but because they don't have specific places to be able to be parked, they keep them back here in our large front slash backyard. As you can see, we've been planning ahead. This used to be all stonework. It is now all metal, which is unfortunately necessary now with all of the different dinos that can possibly and will in the future be able to damage stone and metal. So we were thinking ahead. This is our bridge, which crosses over into the next area which will be part of another tour that's our tribe member Askander Morgane that's his house right there it's been lovingly nicknamed the Death Star when we do our tour of uh, individual tribe members houses you'll see why so I would just like to say thank you for joining us I appreciated taking you along on this tour and hope to see you again if this video helped you out in your base design or your communal workshop layout, please smash that like button and subscribe. There will be more videos coming in the future for Ark Survival Evolved and other great game titles. I enjoyed having you with us and thank you for watching.